a little bit of trepidation. Oh, what a drop! And how about this for unusual teamwork? Double drop kick. Look out! Oh! And Lou Diaz, here's a, a, like you said, Sean, a veteran tag team. Yes. They've been tagging for years, and now they're looking for that big moment, that big win, and it has eluded them for a long time. This could be... No lack of self-confidence at all. Not at all. And it looks like Techno with Team Techno and Murmur is going to start it here. So you got, what do you got here with the hype? John, you got, you got Kaz, Kaz, Kaz the Man Lee, Myron Malone, as you said, they're the hype, part of the Champagne Campaign. They are the biggest trainees of the Mushmaster Tim Spriggs. However, lately they haven't been really impressing Tim Spriggs all that lately. He basically basically gave him the task of walking out of here with a win. Otherwise, the champagne can be might be going through some changes. Listen, I, I mean, with a boss like Tim Spriggs, I think trying to impress, uh, he's insatiable. He, he, he has a, a lust for violence that I don't think can ever Tim Sprigg seems like the type of person who won't take anything less than perfection. Anything less than first place. Right, and you got Kaz the Man. Look, it's no secret, Sean. Kaz the Man is a little bit, he's kind of a nice guy at times. He's a little sensitive. He lets his emotions get the best of him. And a, a quick tag, was he afraid to face it? No, I mean, quite possibly. Maybe it's a little mind games, as you see. Myron. The fans seem to be getting in the head of uh, the hype here. Well, that shouldn't be too uh, difficult. They practically have a ladder up to their their brain, and there's uh, a lot of room to, to uh, kick up your legs in there. Hold on. Color and elbow. This is a match I would love to see one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Diego Cruz. The techno. It's hard to feel out an opponent their waist lock. It's hard to feel out an opponent that doesn't have any facial expressions. You don't know what they're thinking, what they're feeling. You're relying on body language. You don't know if he's in pain, you don't know if he's hurt. If he's laughing at you, you have no clue. And that's kind of the advantage we see. Oh, oh deep arm drag to the chain wrestling as you see. Techno returning. This Japanese arm dragging another one. Call it there, Karina. What do you think? Uh, uh, I'll be careful, man. Those ropes, unless somebody wipes them down, can be slippery at times. And we oh, are in a brewery, by the way. This is true. Things could get slippery no matter what. It is. Hot. Wow. How about that? And a little lucha style here to MCW. Hot in the brewery. Action is hot in that ring. Look at that, Lord Diaz. Man, they... These guys, Lord Diaz and Diego Cruz, they've been waiting, oh. waiting for a miracle for so long. Uh, and you really are rooting for, I am at least, hoping that some sort of good fortune comes to them eventually, but wow. that's not the case right now. I was going to say, the hype disagrees with us. They're in control at the moment. The hype needs some good fortune. Look at this. In the ropes, Diego oh. flying burrito with Techno. And how about this for unusual teamwork? Double drop kick. Yeah, the uh, enemy of my friends. Enemy of my friend. And en enemies make strange bedfellows. Is that is it bedfellows? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. What about the bedfellows quote? That seems a little weird, right? We just got a double tag. Is that legal? Double tag. Well, it looks uh, it looks as if the referee's gonna allow it. Your Diaz trying to get the passion of this. Perry Hill, Maryland audience. And the hype wasn't legal in the ring anyway. So. As long as there are two legal competitors in the ring, right now we got Murmur and Lord Diaz. And as you can see, it doesn't look like Murmur or Diaz. It doesn't look like they're sweating each other. Murmur and Diaz, no. they teamed back at night one of MCW Winter Blast in Hollywood. And now, going one-on-one -on -one in that ring. And it's a dangerous proposition to team with somebody or face somebody you recently teamed with because they may have your number. They may have you figured. Oh, what a... Right. If there's a weakness or an injury that the other one knows about, they're certainly going to exploit it in this matchup. 
Absolutely, that was a very innovative hip toss into the arm drag. Scoop slam, murmur. He's feeling the murmurs here in the Fifth Company Brewery. Wait a minute. Oh, Blind tank. Smart, smart ring away. Murmur didn't see, but the referee did. Myron Malone is legal. Myron Malone certainly showing his his ring savvy is beyond his years of experience already. Look at that. Look at the viciousness. You better believe Tim Spriggs is looking out, smiling at Myron. Well, the intensity is off the page in this one. Referee doesn't see it. Very smart tag team wrestling from the height, distracting the ref and just picking apart Lord Diaz. Yeah, it's not legal, it's not right, it's not fair, but you're absolutely correct, John. It is smart. Coming off the ring, sequestering the opponent, making it so it might as well be the Grand Canyon between he and his partner. He and his partner, he and anybody in that ring. He didn't tag any other participant. But the hype, keeping Lord Diaz on their side of the ring and even choking Lord Diaz on the ropes. He's got a five count to break. And he's going to use every second of that. No. Look at the, the hype. Why, why would you, you know, that's a, that's a, so, oh wow, what a right hand. What a right hand to the face of Lord Diaz. Cheap shot though. Look at the leg. Why would you call yourself the hype? You gotta live up to that. Seems like. I mean, they're, they're pretty good at hyping up Team Spriggs. Oh, I, I Beautiful mean, suplex. Another, another cover and a kick out. That was very good. Uh, textbook su souple, as uh, yes. Gordon Sully would say. Uh, Sean. But I will say it's gonna take a lot more than that to keep Lord Diaz. Tag out to Myron. Look, man, the hype is. Certainly looking impressive with their quick in and outs, their double team maneuvers. They are wrestling like, get this, a tag team. A well earned machine. That's the thing about the hype. They they always have a cover. Another cover and a kick out. They they team their their tag team wrestling is great, but they haven't been able to pick up that big win yet to at least at least not get the the, the ire of Tim Sprint. This is what they need to do tonight. They need to kick off MCW Winter Blast Night 2 with a victory just to, just to impress the Mushmaster. Yeah, every team has their motivations, do they not? The hype looking to impress Spriggs, Diaz, and, and Diego looking to get on the map, and so is Murmur. Wow, what a, what a close line. Oh, a power slam. Cover two. And here comes Myron to make the save. This one is starting to disintegrate into mayhem. I get Malone out of the ring and oh, the use it to an advantage. Wow, that was smart. I am very impressed, uh, Ricky, with the hype and how they are able to manipulate the referee, manipulate their opponents, manipulate the ring. Kind of like Tim Spurs, they have picked up tag team wrestling very quickly here in MCW. The question is, can they manipulate their way to a victory here in this opening contest? And that would certainly be a notch on the black belt of Tim Spriggs and Tim Spriggs. Another trophy in the case, another, another victory won. And they certainly are adapting that more dangerous style, that meanness, that, just that chip on the shoulder. And that's what they came for. They know none of these three teams are very established. So a win, again, would certainly put you in tag team championship consideration here at MCW. No doubt about it. Got the newcomer team of Techno and Murmur. The hype is looking to climb the ranks in the MCW tag team division. And as you mentioned before, Diaz and Diego, they're, they're looking for that big moment. They're looking for that big win that can catapult them into contention for MCW Tag Team Gold. Sometimes these things just have to happen naturally. You can't try to force fate. Speaking of force, man, I mean, he has his turning up the heat here on Murmur. I don't think I've ever seen a vicious streak quite like this with Kaz. 
and they've been put behind that proverbial eight ball thanks to Tim Spriggs. They do not want to be replaced. I mean, when you're... Oh! Whoa! What a vicious suplex. How about that? That was a bit of a Hail Mary. Can Murmur make it to his corner and tag in Techno, who is relatively fresh? You can tag in anybody, but preferably you would want to tag in your partner. You, you can pick I your, kinda like how Cassius did. You can pick your friends and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose kind of deal. Hold on, Murmur with the back body drop, but where? But Where's does he know where his partner is? And you gotta think maybe with being hearing impaired that maybe his his other senses are elevated. Yes. There's the tag. Oh, the high flying of Techno taking it to the height. No wasted motion. Every kick, every punch. Oh, right to the side of the head. He has the man trying to shut down the momentum. Look out! Oh! oh! Sunset flip cover! Wow, Diego put a stop to that one. Yeah, they did not want to see this match slip through their fingertips like sand. And then you see Will Diaz trying to wear down Barber. This thing is breaking down here. Referee losing all control. Come on, ref. This looks like a typical barroom brawl. I mean, the referee is a young guy. He, he, Maybe still has a little bit of trepidation. Oh, what a drop kick! Oh, the height from Myron Malone. Dro trying to drop kick the head off of Diego. And another one! Oh, oh, Diaz! Wow. Boy, put him in a slam dunk competition. <laughs> the Lost Boys and Di Diego and, and, and Lord Diaz may be totally out of this. You know what? Double team to move that drop pick out of the building back. You ever seen anything like that, Kareem? No, I have not. Not with height like that. But then you can see the determination of Murmur. Oh, man! Cover clutch slam. Techno! Oh! 